The world around them was in a state of turmoil. The revolt of the North American colonies had been followed by the French Revolution. Everywhere, the same question was raised. Could we, too, become independent, democratic nations? Such radical ideas were not lost in a young Venezuelan aristocrat, nervous and impatient, with a mind as alert as his burning black eyes. His name was Simón Bolívar. It was on a grand tour of Europe, undertaken in 1804, that his goals began to take shape. Bonaparte was at the height of his fame, and at first the young Bolivar was deeply impressed that a self-made man had achieved such power and used it for the general good. But dissolution set in when he saw Napoleon crown himself emperor. Must the ideals of revolution always be betrayed? Bonaparte's next move transformed the life of Bolivar and of Spanish America. He invaded Spain, kidnapped the royal family, and put his own brother, Joseph Bonaparte, on the throne. It was too much for Simón Bolívar, and indeed for Spanish America. From the top of the Sacromonte in Rome, and in the presence of his tutor, the young man made a solemn oath. I swear by my honor and by the God of my fathers that my soul and my arm shall not rest until I have broken the chains that bind us to Spanish power. <laughs> 